had a clue until love rescued me. Hi, I'm Tom Cotter, coffee addict and singer-songwriter just outside of Austin, Texas. I write, record, and perform. I am involved in my church leading a band called Second Mile. I hope and I dream. You know, all of art is putting a frame around a moment. And as a songwriter, I'm trying to put a frame, a snapshot around a moment in time or around a feeling or a truth. Rather than a two-hour Hollywood movie or a 500-page novel on some bestseller list, I only have about three and a half minutes to connect the audience with a moment, a feeling, a story. You know, a painter hangs his paintings on a wall, but a songwriter carries those songs in his bones. That's one of the reasons I love our Creative Mondays community. We all carry the same yearnings in our bones. I mean, it's in our DNA, and I, I'm so thankful to be a part of it. It's the spark to the beginning of my week. Everyone is so talented and has been so encouraging. You know, when I was a child, I remember hearing that the Bible begins with the words, In the beginning, God created. I believe that as people created by Him, it's our job to also create. As an artist, my job is to create and to bring light and hope. Whether it's through music, through painting, through comedy or drama or architecture, literature, whatever. As creatives, we are the great flashing arrows in our culture pointing to things that are out of order and pointing to what's good and right and true. Pablo Picasso once said that art is the lie that enables us to realize the truth. You know, I can sing a song to a thousand people and they will sing it back to me for a thousand different reasons. And that's a beautiful thing. You know, for the longest time, I was afraid to consider myself a real songwriter. I was working in Dallas, Texas in an office job. The organization I worked for needed a theme song for a fundraising campaign. And someone across the conference room yelled out, hey, Cotter plays the guitar, have him write a song. And everyone just kind of stared at me. So reluctantly, I went home and I wrote a song over the weekend called Reaching Texas. On Monday, I snuck a rough demo of it into the executive director's office, a little scared and a little nauseous. And he sent it out to the entire office, called it a home run. The company paid me to go into the studio and to have it produced and distributed. And I was like, uh, okay, I I'll give in. I'm going to really give this songwriting thing a try. So why do I continue to do it? I guess I can't help it. I'm too afraid to find out what would happen if I didn't do it. Music should strike fire in our hearts and it should create tears in our eyes. And writing has brought me out of some dark places. It's put me in touch with parts of myself that I didn't know existed. I just try to create songs that are real. You know, you try to write songs about other people or about humanity in general, and you always end up revealing yourself in them. So you might as well be real about it. You know, I've gotten to the place where I just try to sit down with my guitar or at the piano and just bleed. I've been blessed to get some recognition and awards here in the Austin area, to perform with some amazingly talented musicians, play on some famous stages, and even be featured on some local television shows. It's all very humbling to think that these little songs connect with people, which is really what it's all about. It's about making music that brings us together, that connects us as human beings. Music that unites us with a common love and a purpose. I'll go back into the studio in the next couple of months to begin recording an album called Music From Another Room. If you'd like to follow along, you can connect with me on Twitter, Facebook, on my blog at tomcotter.org, or on the Creative Mondays open space. And in the meantime, trust the creative voice you've been given. Live right on the edge of mystery, and don't be afraid.